Uh, hi everyone, this is Vinod Kumar from Unique Technologies Company. In this video, we are going to see about uh, how to reduce defects and errors in a manufacturing or production industry related to mechanical department. Okay, so uh, to reduce the defects and to improve the production quantity level, uh, we need to imply some of the uh, analysis techniques. Okay, so in those analysis techniques, in the domain of total quality management, we have one special technique that is known as Six Sigma. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see about the detailed explanations of Six Sigma with one of the project explanation as an example. Okay, so what is Six Sigma? So Six Sigma is nothing but it's a statistical concept. Okay, so as a statistical concept. It make uh, uh, that means it focuses on understanding customer requirements in a better way to make an eliminating defects and waste. Okay, so six sigma value there is a factor. Okay, so it is like a safety factor regarding. Okay, so as a six sigma factor, uh, it focuses on achieving the uh, 3.4 DPMO. Okay, DPMO is nothing but defects per million opportunities. Okay, so as a million opportunities, we have to achieve. 3.4 factor DPMO. Okay, so once we achieve that value, so we can able to achieve that means resulting the product as mean services as 99.99 percent defect free products. Okay, so that is the achievement of six sigma level. Okay, so in the six sigma level is also known as lean manufacturing technique. That means lean six sigma concept. Okay, the lean six sigma concept is the process which will deal with uh, products or service. In mean to reduce the waste of uh, defects along that way as a faster, economical and efficient method, and also it deliver the satisfactory quality which will read uh, that means which will meet our uh, customer satisfaction level also. Okay, so what are the objectives and aim? So it uh, it is an process uh, in order to improve the industry production by improve those quality and production rate so that once we improve the production rate, it will cause us. Uh, the decrease of failure productivity rate and then the automatically the company growth will be also effective okay so this is the process and in concept of lean sigma factor okay so we are going to see about how can we implement this process as a method of uh, process of a flow chart as a steps and procedure okay so we have a methodology as a flow chart that means dmaic cycle okay in a six sigma process okay so define measure analyze improve and control in a defined process we need to identify and state the practical problem which has been acquired in a product or service which has been a product uh, manufacturing or production industry okay so in once we identify the static of uh, that means state of a practical problem we need to validate that problem by collecting the data that means like uh, uh, uptime and in a manufacturing time of a particular product and in the individual operation time and in a how much uh, the batch time that means uh, batch production time whatever it is then in number of quantities all those data we have to collect as a manual then we have to uh, analyze that means investigate and identify what causes that problem okay that means which uh, cause or a source of a factor uh, that means identifying the cause of a problem. Okay, the next step will be improvisation. That means implement a fix that will solve the problem. That means in this process we are going to implement the six sigma process. Okay, so once it six sigma process applied, we need to solve that problem by applying in a proper formula like a DPMO process. Okay, then the final step we have to control that by holding the gains and sustain that improved results whatever we have achieved in this process. Okay, so next we have to uh, prefer that uh, that means we have already seen we have to achieve the 3.44 defects per million opportunities in order to achieve a six sigma level okay for example this is a table as an uh, process of one sigma and two sigma level whatever the production uh, total quantity we are making as a defect rate per million opportunities as a yield percentage in a one sigma level we are getting a yield percentage of 30.85 that means success rate good production rate we are getting that 30.85 percentage by making a process of refining to two sigma level three sigma level then up to the sixth sigma level we can able to achieve the 3.44 defect per million opportunities as an yield result of 99.998 percentage okay so we have we have to make a process calculation in this process that means once the manufacturing process is occurred we need to calculate the uptime and process ratio for each and every individual process of operation that means uh, we can be involved we can take uh, five process of operations here in a manufacturing particular product okay that means facing turning taper turning 
drilling and then boring or milling process okay for each this five process we have to individually calculate the uptime and process ratio by applying the suitable formula it means uptime means you have to uh, produce it actual production time and total available time uh, into the process of uh, 100 and then we have to find out the process ratio also per uh, hour okay per hour how much process ratio we are achieving okay once we find out all those data we have to uh, find out the process ratio uh, in a particular cycle okay in minutes okay once we find out that we can able to correlate that uptime and process ratio so here we can find out that we are getting uh, 10 minutes for facing and then turning tap turning drilling process whatever the uptime increases the process ratio is getting on decreases okay so we have to find out that uh, what are the process we have been achieved as a yield quantity as a process ratio we have to implement that in defect per opportunity that means per opportunity we have to find out as a dpo and that we have to implement that in a dpmo defect per million opportunities okay so as a result we have to implement that whole process in a six sigma process of finding the uh, calculated factor value that means yield value we have to find out so once we implement all those values we can get an uh, process of 3.54 sigma level factor that is which is greater than 3.44 because we have to achieve that 3.44 equalize or else a lesser value to achieve that six sigma factor okay so as a first product of trial and error method we are getting a value of 3.54 so we have to once again correlate that defects uh, by comparing that good percentage and bad percentage okay so once we get the dpmo is as bad and good percentage we can able to make a case study of production data that means how much input we are giving uh, and then based on that okay and not okay product we can able to find out the efficiency rate and then a failure uh, rate percentage okay once we find out that we can able to find out the upper limit percentage and lower limit percentage in order to make a output rate uh, so that we can able to find out the cause and effect diagram okay so it is a manual process once we find out what is the defect it means uh, in a phasing or taper turning or it's a boring process wherever in the operations we are getting the defects we have to find out by using that manual method by implementing the cause and effect diagram okay so once we find out in which method we are going to get an process of defect we have to fine tune that by applying the uptiming process by reducing the uptime and increasing the process ratio okay we have to implement that once again for individual operations uh, like facing turning tapper turning and drilling and boring okay so once we find out all those percentage of uh, all five process for uptime and process ratio we can able to implement a case study once again uh, in order to uh, get in process ratio okay then after implementation of six sigma we can clearly able to find out that that batch output has been increased for each and every operations uh, in means of uptime increases and the process ratio has been decreased okay that means defect process ratio has been decreased uptime has been uh, increased with respect to the batch output whatever we are getting okay so once again we have to uh, implement that in defect per opportunities and defect per million opportunities okay and after this all those uh, process over we can able to find out that the final result will be 3.145 here in this project so that is less than 3.44 so we are achieving that process of six sigma level okay so that we can able to reduce the defect and then we can able to improve the production rate also so this is the uh, benefits of lean six sigma that means we can able to make a customer satisfaction also in this six sigma lean method and then also it will be um, and benefit process for organization or culture or company or industry whatever we are implementing we can able to get an organization benefits also and then we can able to uh, get an process of customer satisfaction also so this is a two types of uh, satisfaction level of method in order to find out that means reduce the defects and order to improve the production rate as a uh, good quantity and quality level okay so this is the process uh, overview of lean six sigma process we can um, get an overview of other techniques also whatever using in manufacturing and production industries in upcoming videos related to mechanical department okay thank you